Hi. In Mari 4, the foundry changed the interface of Mari quite a lot. They added, for example, this sidebar here on the right side. And one of the big changes they did is they grouped together the tools. So when I hold down my mouse button on one of these tools, you can see I have other tools grouped under it that only get shown when I hold down the mouse button to open the group. This is quite similar to Photoshop, but also a very big change to the old versions of Mari, which look more like this where every tool was easily accessible as a separate button. Now, some users don't particularly like the grouping and I don't blame them that much. So in this tutorial, I want to take a look at how we can actually modify these default toolbars, how we can either completely ungroup things or change the order of groups. For example, we could group together the paint tools with other paint tools, paint and eraser, you expose the blur as a separate group, etc. You won't need extension pack for this. I will show you how to do it in the vanilla Mari as well. But in extension pack five, there's an easy setting actually added to change it. So we'll cover this first. So with extension pack five installed, all we need to do is go to the edit preferences, go to the miscellaneous section and scroll all the way down to the toggle tools. Here we have a dropdown called tools toolbar and we can either use the Mari default which will always use the latest Mari default option. So whatever they change, you would have this one. You can switch it to extension pack or Mari 3 legacy. Let's switch it to Mari 3 legacy first. You'll get a pop-up saying that this actually requires a Mari restart to take effect. So let's do this next. So here we are after the Mari restart and you can see now the tools are all ungrouped. And it's actually a bit cluttered now because some of these options are not in the right spot anymore. So we're running a bit out of space. So we would need to regroup things a little bit to make things nicer again. But here we are. We have the old Mari 3 default toolbar. So if we compare this, we have the same order. The only thing that is a little bit different is that there's actually the tool, uh, sorry, the text tool from uh, Mari extension pack is added in, in between. So that's one tiny little difference. So let's check out next. What happens if we switch this to extension pack? Switch this to extension pack and restart Mari again. And here we are again. And on first glance, it does not look that much different than what Mari 4 offers by default. However, the grouping itself has changed quite a lot. So for example, under the select, we now have select and marquee select group together. Second, we have a pure paint buffer group. So we have the transform paint buffer and zoom paint buffer. Then next we have all the various transform tools such as warp, slurp, pinup and toe brush. We have a paint and paint eraser. Then we have paint through, clone stamp and gradient. Blur is a completely separate ungrouped one. We have the extension pack text tool, the transform tool for objects. And last but not least, we have the different vector tools that Mari offers, which are not that commonly used anyway but still I've added them in here. So this is quite a different grouping from what Mari 4 by default offers. And in my opinion, it actually makes more sense to me personally, at least. Anyway, we'll move ahead and I'll show you actually how to configure completely your own toolbar so you can change it to any way you like it. So if you want to edit the toolbar to a custom one, you have two options actually. The first one is to create just a custom toolbar, which you can do under the edit toolbar. So here, for example, we could add a, our custom tools toolbar. I could make this visible and I need to find it now. Unfortunately, it's a bit hidden and I think it's here. So this is my tools toolbar. And now I could search for actions. For example, I could use the blur tool and I could just drag this in here. And I would have my blur tool and this way I could set up my own toolbar. And if I right mouse click in an empty space, you can see here I have my custom toolbar. So in this case, I could hide the tools and set up my own toolbar. However, this way you cannot have any grouping. So we'll take a look at how we can actually modify the default tools toolbar. So this one. So you don't have to create your own uh, toolbar this way. You can just edit the normal Mario one. So to do this, we actually have to step first inside of the Mari installation folder. So this is usually under program files and your Mari folder. And in here we have a bundle, media, and in here the settings folder. Inside the settings folder, we have a whole bunch of different things. 
that we can edit, which are not really exposed inside of Mari itself, not exposed in the user interface at least. One of the things in here is the default toolbars. So we can copy this and we can place it into our Mari user folder. So any of these settings files, if they are found in your Mari user folder, then the one in the user folder is used. So I'm just gonna copy this and go to my user folder, which is under C in this case, users, my name, and in here we have the .mari, the foundry, and here we have a bunch of files. This is usually where, for example, your um, ini files or your config files are found that you sometimes need to remove when things go horribly wrong in Mari. And in here, we can just paste our default tools toolbar. And then I already have one, so I'm gonna replace this one. So now the next time I start Mari, Mari will no longer read this default tools bar dot config file from its installation directory, but read it straight from the my user directory. So this way, any change I do in here, I can easily, you know, I have complete custom access to anything that Mari does. So I'm gonna open this in the text editor and we'll take a look at what we have here. Now in here, we actually have several toolbars. So for example, we have the tools toolbar, but we also have these default shader actions, the mirroring, etc. Currently, I'm only interested in the tools toolbar, which is this part which you can see here already the different actions that have been added, such as select, transform selected objects, paint buffer erase, etc. There's actually quite a good explanation in this file by default, but let's quickly go over it. So you can see here we have the order of groups is defined here. So we have a star group action action selection tools. Then we have star group action action painting tools group action, action image tools, etc. What is in these groups is defined down here. So we have action selection tools, action painting tools, action image tools, etc. If you want to group something together, there needs to be a star group action underscore. So for example, let me create a new action here. So I'm gonna use my action tutorial underscore actions. And then for example, I'm just gonna use the Mari action, Mari tools general select. Now these are regular actions. And for example, if you have extension pack, you could easily find this action by going to the Python section under the scripts and going to the action finder. So here, for example, if I search for blur, I see, okay, Mari tools default brushes blur is one of the actions that I would need to use if I want to access the blur tool. You can see here, I have also the default path to these brushes. So if you don't have extension pack, the easiest is just to look through these different lines and find the tool you want. So here I have my um, action tutorials actions. And now if I want to put this in here, I would need to add a star group action, sorry, in capital letters, group action, underscore, and then the name of this variable that I've been writing into. So here it would be action tutorial actions. So we add star group action underscore action tutorial actions. Oh, sorry, actually that was not quite correct. We need to remove the underscore actions. So this is the pure name that we would need to add here. So group action, action tutorial. Then we just add a comma, and here we are, we would have a new group. Obviously in this case, it's only one item in here, so you don't really need a group. You can just straight up copy this path and just add it straight in here. So now we have the pure action as a single item, so there's no little tiny icon here to indicate that it's grouped. And then the next we have a group again. And this is really already all you need to do. So you can generate your own groups this way. You add the order of groups here, the contents of groups down here. And if you want to ungroup something, you just add it 
straight as a direct path into this list that is called action three here. If you want to ungroup, for example, these canvas tools or these current channel, current layer below, current layer, etc., and have them all as separate icons, we can also do this quite easily. So in here we have the actions four, which shows you, okay, group action, action shader mode tools. Take a look down here. We have the action shader mode actions. So we have the current channel, etc. So if I want to ungroup this, all I need to do is I'm gonna copy this out, set a comma, copy this, add it in here. Current layer, add it in here, and current paint target, again, comma, space, this. And now I can entirely remove the shader mode tools and get rid of this extra comma, and then just save this. And let's restart Mari and see what we get. So here we are with our new customized toolbars. So here we have what we've done, so we added the select items as a separate ungrouped item. So this was this one. So we added straight the action path in here and we still maintained our group as well. So this is where we have two now. And up here we have the ungrouped items from the different shader modes. So this was down here where we added the different uh, view modes. And this really is all you need to do or all you need to know. Um, one little note, obviously when you added or when you edited these um, different settings, if in the future Mari changed to something, so they add a new tool, for example, you would only get it if you revert back to the default Mari option, or you would need to manually go in, copy theirs out from the settings directory in the Mari install directory and copy them into your user folder. Now for extension pack, if we go to the preferences, miscellaneous, and on the tools toolbar again, as soon as I set this back to Mari default, actually the file will be deleted out of your user folder. So it would automatically default to what Mari ships with. So this way you can easily revert back to a standard Mari version where everything is, um, you know, as they ship it.